Hi everyone, welcome to the event brief for the Woody Coast Run 2022, number two for the year. My name is Tristan and I'll be your race director. I just want to take this time to pass on some information to help your day go that bit smoother and also cover off on some safety items. Just save having to do that on event day when really all you want to do is go for a run and you're definitely not paying any attention to me. Firstly though, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners and land on which we're gathering and running through this Saturday and their elders past present and emerging. It really is fantastic that we're able to conduct this trail run here on the beautiful Central Coast. I would like to thank a few organisations for making this event possible, including Central Coast Council, New South Wales National Parks and Wildlife Service, Tailwind, Mountain Culture Beer Company, the volunteers from Crest for providing our event communications, the Kilkeer Surf Life Saving Club, and of course, our course volunteers who you'll see around the event centre on the out on course. When you see them out on course wearing one of our red volunteer t-shirts, give them a big thanks, high five, or a big smile as you pass by. The event really couldn't happen without them. The event program was sent out to you all last week and is also on the event website. Have a read of it before coming out on Saturday as it probably contains the answers to many questions that you have and maybe even questions that you didn't know that you had. It is going to be an early start on Saturday as you make your way into the event. Uh, if you're arriving by train at Woi Woi Station, there will be shuttle buses waiting for you to bring you across to the event centre. Please don't delay moving from the trains to the buses though, as timings are pretty tight in the morning. If you are driving to the event centre, please note that parking at Kilcare Beach is pretty limited. Uh, we will have traffic controllers on hand to assist with parking where needed. Please follow their direction. Watch out for others who are also trying to make their way into the event just like you. You will have noticed that race number plates have not been posted out this year. All race number plates will be available for pickup at the registration tent. Please arrive at Rego knowing your race number, which we included in the pre-race email. If you have pre-purchased merchandise to pick up, you can do so either before or after the race. Just look for the sign that says merchandise. Event t-shirts, speed cups, caps, and other items will be available for sale also on event day. Your race number plate contains your timing chip, so make sure you actually get a timer as you cross the finish line. Please pin it on the front of your body and make sure it isn't covered by jackets or vests. We do expect that everyone looks out for their own safety when you're out on course, that you're dressed appropriately, noting that there are sections of the course that are on the beach, meaning on sand, uh, and there are also some technical sections on the course. The weather is forecast to be a mild 22 degrees with a really slight chance of a shower. Take that into account when you're planning for the race and you're getting ready to hit the start line on event day. Each race will start with a mass self-seeded start. Uh, the 21k race will start at 8.45, the 14k will start at 9.15 and the kids course around 9.30. Please arrive at the start line ready to race. Uh, because it is self-seeded, if you are a slower runner, please move to the back of the pack, allowing the fast runners the opportunity to move up front. But after the start line, the first kilometre or so is along the beach with plenty of room to spread out and find your own pace. Once you hit the trails though, you're looking for our course marking, which consists of red on white arrows at all our junctions and pink surveyors tape along the trails, indicating and confirming the track correct trails to follow. Red crosses indicate that you've gone the wrong way. If you pass a red cross or you haven't seen any of the pink tape for some time, turn around, go back to the last arrow or pink tape and try again. The trails we're using for the Booty Coaster Run aren't difficult to follow. No doubt there's just a momentary lapse in concentration that got you to where you were. At the split point where the 21 kilometer and 14 kilometer courses separate, there'll be arrows matching the color on your race plate indicating the direction to go. 21 kilometer runners are going to turn right and the 14 kilometer runners will continue straight ahead. Also out on course, there'll be a number of aid stations. At each of the aid stations will be plenty of water, tailwind, chips, lollies, and fruit, and some friendly faces. Remember though that this is a cup free event, so please bring your own drinking vessel. Uh, we do have speed cups available for sale at the merchandise tent but we do suggest a running vest or a hydration pack is a great idea. The aid stations are there for you, but please move through to allow runners behind you to continue unimpeded. Everyone wants a chance to get in those lollies and the fruit, 
So really it is helpful if you can move through quickly. Some of the sections of the course are quite technical, particularly for the 21 kilometer runners, and particularly after you pass the 21 kilometer or the 14 kilometer split point. If you aren't so confident on those technical sections, slow down, let faster runners behind you pass, which will give you the time and space you need to safely get through it. A bit of extra time taken there really won't make a great difference for you at the finish line, but really might mean that you have a better day. There is also some trail maintenance underway in this same area after the split point. The trail is safe and it is open for the event. However, there may be areas that are roped off or have construction material stockpiled. The, if there are any hazards, we will clearly mark them for you, but they shouldn't really pose any problems for you. If you are a slower runner, it is possible that there will be runners coming in the opposite direction and some of these sections are quite narrow. Please stay alert, look up, and be ready to move to the left to pass each other. On both the 21 km and 14 km courses, there are a couple of short sections that run along quiet local roads. These roads are not closed, uh, so please keep to the left, give way to traffic where necessary, and follow the directions of the marshals. And remember, give them a big smile as you go past. I do know that everyone in the trail running community looks out for each other, and I'm sure that this goes without saying. However, if you do happen to come across an injured runner, please stop and render any assistance needed. If necessary, send the next run along to the next marshal point or aid station where we can arrange assistance. Also on the back of your race plates are the event emergency contact numbers, just in case you do need to get in contact with us to arrange some additional assistance. If you do spend time with an injured runner, we're more than happy to credit that time back to you at the end of the race. Like, if you do stop, help someone for five minutes that's stumbled, taken a bit of a fall, come let us know at the finish with the person's race number and we'll credit you back that five minutes. Our priority is that everyone has a fantastic time and gets home safely. I really do thank you for watching this video and do look forward to seeing you this Saturday on the Central Coast at Kilcare Beach for the Booty Coastal Run.